guys, I'm back. I'm back from Florida. It's actually Tuesday now and I have been back for around three or four days. It's totally weird with the time difference. I'm still suffering pretty bad from jet lag. I have been away in Florida so sorry if you've missed me but the studio vlogs are back. Also you might notice something a little different. The fairy lights are gone but I'll explain why they've gone. Basically I have got a new batch of enamel pins and I am expanding my products and my goal has always been over time to expand the range of products I sell in my Etsy store but the storage system that I have at the minute which is like these clicky box things they kind of just balanced on my windowsill over there it's just not good enough now I now order more enamel pins in I order 200 quantity of each design in now whereas I used to only order 50 to 100 and I'm running out of space so what we're thinking we might have to do is get rid of this set of drawers or try and find a space for them and get kind of some sort a shelving unit put over here I just need to measure the distance between the door and kind of this point here because it's a really sh weird shaped room and I'm thinking of getting a wooden shelving system that I've seen Fran Nerd have on her vlogs in her studio which is from Ikea and it's just like this wooden yeah shelving system and then um I found these boxes which are called I think they're called um picking storage bins but they're like open fronted so we can just pick the enamel pins out for uh, shipping and stuff. While it's a relatively quiet time for my Etsy store I decided to try and focus on getting the office up and running um, and efficient as possible ready for those busy periods and these quiet times are kind of like a blessing in disguise because they help prepare you for the busy periods so yeah that's basically what we need to focus on. I also have some Patreon, a Patreon community challenge if you like illustration challenges and stuff me and my Patreons do a monthly illustration challenge or art challenge or craft challenge over on Patreon. So I need to post the results of last month's community challenge and all your entries and then I need to create the new one which I've got a really good idea for. First of all I'm going to show you all the new pin designs and washi tape designs so yeah let's go have a look shall we. Also I forgot to mention a huge apology um, for videos not going up while I was away at Florida. I think one went up while I was away. Oh I'm very shiny over here. One went up while I was going away and I was meant to schedule a couple more to go up but um, a week before I was due to go away um, my beautiful nana passed away so I kind of threw everything up in the air and I ended up um, just working on the Etsy store finishing up emails and doing things like that and spending a lot of time with my family in preparation for obviously the funeral then we had the funeral and I just spent a lot more time with the family and obviously things like this happen in business and things get thrown up in the air as you have seen my previous vlogs I planned to have a schedule for YouTube to come up my content and also I had to plan when I was coming back having the pins and stuff arriving so yeah sometimes things just happen and life gets in the way so I just wanted to apologise for uh, not managing to get those videos up to you guys but I will be doing a sketchbook tour very very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that. Now I really want to show you this cupboard. I was back at work yesterday, it's actually Tuesday today, I don't know if I mentioned and I had a clear out of all my cupboards and stuff so these are the new pin designs so I'm going to get them out of the baskets and the new washi tits, look how many washi tits it looks like. Okay, so first of all I'm going to show you my pins and then I'm going to show you the washi tape. So, let's have a look at the unicorn, unicorn batch of pins first. So let's open this little guy. Oh, this little girl, this little unicorn pin. And I think this is the one that's one point, it's either one inch inside or 1.2, but oh my gosh. Look how cute the pin turned out. <gasps> Look at the little butt with the little like love hearts and stars in. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, and on the back is got a pink back on this one. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this unicorn turned out. The next one I just got my marshmallow remade. Um because he ran out in my store, the marshmallow stick one. So he's gonna come back in stock because a few people asked me about that. And the next one is the marshmallow milk and I am so happy with how these ones turned out. I can't wait to show you. Oh look at him or oh, her, him or her. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. But then he's got a really cute little straw. 
I'm sorry, it's really hard to hold these pins right. What do you think? I think this might be one of my favourite pins that I've done, to be honest. And I do think as I'm kind of developing over time, I do think I'm getting better and better at designing and owl pins. If I do say so myself, I feel a bit more confident about my designs now. And then next, we have my dango pin. Ta-da! Look how cute, again with the screen printing details. There's some screen printing, little screen printing dots on the little, I call it a froggy dangle because it kind of reminds me of a frog, this bottom one. And then screen printing on the cheeks. And then it's on a little stick there and it's got a little crown on top because they are holding up the princess, the princess dangle on top. And then we've got the last new pin, which is the Patreon pin which I'm super excited to show you. This is it, it's the Moon and Star Friends Enamel Pin and this is so, so cute. My patrons will be getting a discount uh, for this pin and they will be able to purchase this at a special price and it is super shiny. It needs polishing just a little bit there but oh my gosh. And then here in the clouds, the clouds have a little bit of glitter in them. I don't know if you can see on here, I'm trying to show you, but it's really hard. So this one that I'm going to show you now is a pudding enamel pin. Now if you don't know, pudding is a dog um, and I have a few different designs and he's kind of like a seasonal pin. He comes out with new designs and new outfits um, and this was his summer uh, release. But to be honest guys, I'm not happy with how thick the outlines of these have turned out. It's still a really cute pin and I really like the screen printing on the floor here. If you can see his little screen printing floor. Uh, but I'm not happy with the thickness. It's really shiny, really beautiful, but I'm not happy with uh, the thickness of him in general. So I'm not sure if these will go on sale as seconds and I will get him probably remade to be honest. Um, but yeah. That's him. So, these are two pudding releases. Uh, there's an autumn one here with him in his pumpkin outfit. And there's um, the winter one with him in his winter outfit. And then this is him in his summer outfit. And as you can see, the enamel is a lot thicker on this one. Like, the little, the little dots and stuff that are around the enamel are a lot heavier on the summer one so I'm thinking of selling all these as seconds so if you want to get a bargain and get these for half the price it's still beautiful quality lovely and shiny but I think these will be going up for half the price of my normal pins so yeah that's all the pins now it's on to the washi tapes if anyone's wondering where I got these baskets from they were on sale in Tesco so they're really nice quality to be honest really really nice I've got a spare one down there I don't know what to use with it. Anyway, the new washi tapes, I now have four washi tape designs in total. These are my old ones in this basket. So it's a new batch of my sold out ones, which is Gingy and Spice, like a couple one, uh, which has been remade and then put in the dog in his present outfit. So they're just old designs that have been remade, but the difference is they're now are individually packaged. If you watched any of my other vlogs, then you will have seen that I used to put them in a little, oh, he's not focusing, I used to put them in a, a glassine bag and package them myself but I decided to pay extra and get them uh, a bit more professionally done and by the manufacturer have them wrapped and a sticker on the front which just says catnip washi tape, 15 millimetres by 10 millimetres and my website so it shows the uh, how big the washi tape is but yeah. Then I've got the new ones over here which I'm really excited to show you. So the first one is a pencil washi tape which is so cute and then we've got my favourite one the s'mores washi tape so the marshmallow s'mores and the blue and pink packaging works so well together it looks so cute don't you think so that's the s'mores one just there it looks so cute and it's got his little butt out here and yeah there's different s'mores patterns on there Oh my gosh, it's so cute, and it's got little stars and little hearts and stuff. And then we've got a pencil washi tape here as well, 
which I'm super happy with. And you can get these as individual stickers from my Etsy store and they're quite a good seller. And it's in like this nice peachy colour with little love hearts and little crosses on. And that is my two new washi tapes designs. So what do you think? Which one's your favourite? What's your favourite out of all the new products? What do you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, that's all the new designs and stuff. I am so happy with how they all turned out. Minus the little snag that I have with the pudding dog enamel pin. I just, I'm not sure what's happened there. Just the thickness is too much. So I'm going to send a picture just after I put you down to my manufacturer. And take like a picture side by side of my other pins. And just explain the problem. See if there's anything they can do. If they can remake the mould or something for me. Because, um... I'm just not happy with the thickness. I'm happy with the actual genuine quality and that's why I think it's okay to sell them as seconds pins because I think they'll be fine as seconds pins um, and they're still really pretty and really nice quality. So that's fine. It's just the thickness I'm not 100% on. Next up, now I've laid the pins out in front of me because I'm going to design the backing cards for the enamel pins and I need to get that sent off before 5pm. Um, it's now 11.34. To be honest, um, I've been in for quite a while. I've set up a new business bank account and I've got a new illustration that I want to do for the community challenge. It's going to be kind of a create a children's book character challenge. Let's put on the computer screen and get designing. As you've just seen there, I did a little test print of them because I wanted to make sure that I liked the designs. My favourite one has to be the unicorn one. I just printed it. Oh, I just printed it on um, like a light cardstock, 250 gram cardstock that I got from Amazon, just to see if I liked the designs with the pin in the centre. I tend to do this with um, most of my now pins, just to make sure if I add the illustrations and stuff, if it um, doesn't obstruct. Um, um, the pin doesn't obstruct the illustrations or vice versa so yeah that I'm really happy and then I really like the ones with the little mini details it kind of looks like a little background so I'm happy with how they've turned out and the dangle on and stuff so yeah they look really really good obviously I don't have to design any packaging for the washi tapes because I've already designed the sticker for the front of them so 
job well done all the cards are finished and designed and I always do say to do like proofs because before I bought a backing card set and it obstructed one of my illustrations I think I did like these little line things like exclamation type line things and uh, the pin totally just like sat over the top of it so it was pointless even being there so definitely proof them it takes two seconds to print out and cut out well I say it takes two seconds it doesn't take like 15 minutes but um it's well worth it just before you send it to the printers I'm going to order them business card size just like I printed out from instant print.com now this isn't the easiest way to print enamel pin backing cards maybe I'll do a full video about them let me know if that's something you want to see I normally um, order separate individual business card designs for each individual pin that I've got in my Etsy store now this isn't the most affordable way to do it guys to be honest because the more you buy in bulk the cheaper they end up being per unit so per card and I mean it's a considerable difference as well so if you maybe designed maybe if you had 10 enamel pins and you had two different backing cards that you could kind of use across the board of your enamel pins that would work out considerably cheaper for you guys but me personally I like to pay a little bit extra and tell a little bit of a story I know it's crazy but I, I feel like all my characters have a little story in my head anyway so I like them to have their own um background so like obviously yeah maybe for my more generic pins like I don't know I could use a different backing card maybe if I just got some pastel generic colour ones but for now I just like paying the extra for having individual cards for each individual pin but if you're looking at cost cutting and saving uh, there's definitely no shame and I know a lot of artists and um, big professional sellers who use one card across the board of the logo and they just bulk buy a big batch of a thousand or something which works out yeah like I say considerably cheaper than having loads of different designs anyway let's go to Craig's for a break and then when we get back we're going to do the community challenge uh, for the patrons so yeah see you very soon like what I was saying about money guys is look I ordered 250 but it's it's cheaper to get 500 uh, what I mean it's on sale at the minute but obviously the more you get the cheaper it is but do I just order 500 and have them as backups for my next batch or do I get 250? Hmm. <laughs> smuggling thing didn't it? It had this thing, it has like a basement running towards the sea. It's so cool. I don't know the full history but it's pretty cool in here. It's really old fashioned and yeah it's really cool. We decided to sit in the sun. It's like 23 degrees outside. Can you believe it? We brought the sun back from Florida. It's not quite as hot or humid but it's better than nothing. I freaking love the summer so we're sitting out and we're gonna get something to eat and then I'm heading back into the studio so yay! guys I've just come back from dinner say I've just come back I actually have been back for an hour and a half but I've been getting through this list of things that Emily told me that we need restocking while I was away at Florida there was a few things that um that we were missing and pin banners are one of them we've had a bit of an issue with them because we sold out and Emily didn't realize so we've had to message people who've ordered pin banners saying that there's a slight delay so I've just spent an arm and a leg restocking all of that stuff but luckily I always have a fund of money for that sort of stuff I never ever um, I always save 30% of all my business income for things like this as well so got that all done sorted and now I want to show you kind of the little illustration that I did for my patreon challenge so insert speed pin now <laughs>
these two little characters and my idea that I had in mind for my community um, on, over on Patreon was to do a children's book character. Everyone knows that my aspirations is to have a range of children's book of, books eventually. I already have got one illustrated and you can actually purchase it on Amazon and it was a commission off the author himself and it was called The Dragon Diamond and to be honest guys it is a very old book well I say old I started it like two years ago now so the style is different to my style now and I'm a lot more refined I'll do a video separately talking about my experience illustrating my first children's book but I thought this community challenge would be really really good for my patrons and I did it on procreate and that was my spin on the community challenge so I can't wait to see what other people have there is no limits it can be an animal it can be a human and yeah I'm excited to see what they come up with like they have to think of a character and um, it's just going to be a father and son team for a children's book kind of like a brief like if you're at uni or you're at school or college you get given briefs and you have to try and work on that brief so that's the challenge this month for my patrons so if you want to go check that out I'll leave a link in the description and, and every month I will showcase um all the entries and um with a little tag to their Instagram as well so that's what I'm going to do now to be honest I'm going to um do the community challenge get that uploaded and I also really want to get the studio vlog edited and uploaded um really ideally I would have liked it uploaded today which is a Tuesday which is my normal or at least I try and plan it to be my normal day uh, but whether that's gonna happen I just do not know uh, because it's now half free and I'm meant to be going to my friend's house for tea so yeah wish me luck I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm so sorry it was a little bit short and sweet but I just wanted to bring you a studio vlog thank you so so freaking much for watching I'll see you all very very soon all right then Love you. Goodbye.